before this was renovated, what was it, this property? Well, this used to belong to um, Brighton University. Brighton University. It was actually their, their um, yeah, there's one of those sort of like main yeah. buildings here. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, they, they, they were selling courses for Brighton University in Hastings. Yeah. yeah. And Brighton and Hastings, whilst being coastal towns, are very different. So obviously everyone got very upset about it. So they stopped sending the courses here. And um, then thought we came along basically yeah. and we thought, so this was this was just office space. It wasn't. Uh, it, was, it was student. It was, it was a, student accommodation. It was actually, no, it was, no, it was actually the the actual place where there was study. Sorry, yeah, I can't speak. Yeah. So, okay. so no, like, this this is a place where they're actually studying. Yeah. So you had like you know thousands of people here, students yeah. here every yeah. day, running in and out of the hallways. Yeah. But it was all it was all basically very open. So what it gave is the opportunity of this massive open space, already segregated lifts already installed and we just sort of basically um, refurbished it, put units so in there. the university, which is just a hundred yards up the road, Yeah, is that brand new university? How long has that been there? That has been, actually been there several years. Now when Brighton moved out, yeah. um, Hastings um, Centre University basically decided that they take on some of those courses. So they took on some of those courses and they haven't got anywhere to put their students. So yeah. I thought, thought, okay, we can work with them and do a sort of like a combined student stroke hotel yeah. um, feel to this place. And then we've um, sort of that's evolved that further and now we're yeah. getting an awful lot of more interest from the foreign students coming over mm. here and it's just the general sort of like hotel mm. it's kind of exploded really because there isn't anything it's else like it in Hastings. Too it's nice almost too nice for student accommodation. But the, the business model is all the units are sold yeah. and then the investors sublet them out for a margin to the, for the students or? For the students or anyone. Basically, or anyone, we, we, yeah. we manage it. We manage it under Vive, yeah. uh, which is our brand, Vive Hotels. So we manage that. We built them, we sold them. We have we have maintained and keep all the um, restaurant, bars, yeah. spas you've already seen. Yeah. And um, that will obviously, that works very well because you've got 90, um, mm. we've actually got planning for another four. So we've actually got 100 units above mm. you, all servicing this bar, restaurant, and spa areas. And the new units are, is there anything on the airspace? You've got planning for the airspace or not? We have, we're on the, on the airspace at the moment. We've got two penthouses um, planning on it. So we're yeah. just actually negotiating because BT owned, originally owned this building. So we've got a few bit of negotiations is there to do with there? them. Any, any, There's any some on the Mars? main roof, we've got two roofs. Where, yeah. where there are, then there aren't. No, we've already got a building up there, but it's turning yeah. it back into these uh, two quite yeah. exclusive yeah. penthouses, yeah. which will be nice. Yeah. So just going back, mm. this isn't your first hotel you've developed, is it? No, I want to actually, we took the name because I worked with um, Jason Bull on this. Um, yeah. for, you know, originally he was coming over, but he's, he stayed in Ibiza, so I'm just running it at the moment. Um, but that was for the Vive brand. So S Vive in Ibiza, mm. that we originally um, started them, and I built it over five years with them. Mm. Um, we developed here and we did different, sort of like the deco bar and we, and we it's just evolved the whole place over that period and it went from being really a sort of like a young clubber's place to basically everyone got older and yeah. we turned it more sophisticated, yeah. more fun, funky, but with the, always with the Ibethan twists. That went down really well. It won Best, um, best Spanish Hotel. Was uh, that the one you sold to the yeah, yeah, we sold famous it. footballer? Yeah, so we went, it was Best Spanish Hotel, Best um, European hotel, best European bar, won those awards, and then we sold it to Messi. Yeah, um, it was Messi's family. Who bought I wonder it. if he's still got it t today. No, he has. has yeah, he no, really? I've worked for him right. in, the, in, in the in the interim period. Yeah, so yeah, amazing. And what a fantastic content that is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a nice story, yeah. you know. We got, we got it, we got it yeah. for you know, when the guys were sort of like wanting to evolve it, they brought us in. You know, we evolved it over the five year period with them closing and opening. It was always like a always, um, felt like a mad dash to get it open on the right day and get it finished just for the day before yeah. kind of thing. So it was, you know, it, was, it was really great fun. And then to come up and obviously win all those awards and then for Messi to come along and go, I want that one to be my... Amazing. <laughs> you know, when, when, I, when I walk into your office mm. and you have a whole wall of awards, yeah. it's just such a fantastic achievement. And, um, you know, it must be very satisfying for you to know that, you know, you've been awarded 
for your services to interior design and creativity, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. I used to, I used to kind of choose, I used to try and choose one a year. I used to go, okay, I want to do lighting. And we, we, cause we started off by default winning, winning on kitchens. Yeah. Um, I, just, I didn't even enter the first one, we won it. Mm. Uh, IDFX, many years ago, so it was a British award. I was like, wow. You know, I couldn't believe someone mm. yeah, actually thought yours was better than everyone else's. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> um, and then it's just that, 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 that carried on and we, went, we ended up winning a few of those. And then we went on, we just sort of like carried on. And I thought, well, why, why not go for lighting? Why not mm. go for best apartment? Why not mm. go for so best? So it's very strategic yeah. to yeah. cover it's, yeah. everything. I, yeah, and it's just ironically, I just won them all. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, not ironically, I suppose. You know. What's the most prestigious one you've won? It's probably best. I mean, European. Yeah, you, know, you first have to win the British, or you have to win that yeah. country. And I suppose SVV yeah. was winning the best European hotel was probably the biggest yeah. thus far. Yeah. And so your competition would have been all the big brands. Everyone. It was, it was, it was, no, it was actually it was it was the International Design and Architecture Awards yeah. and the International Property Awards. I won both yeah. best European, which are the two biggest bodies in England. Um, and yeah, they're all against all the international brands. That was yeah, quite amazing, really.